X-rays cause cancer. It's a little unnerving to think about, isn't it? I'm sure most of us have had X-ray scans done at some point in our lives, and it's obvious why. The benefits of diagnosing diseases outweighs the risks of creating cancer. Yet it begs a question, is this really the best we can do? I think there may be a better way. Microwaves, and no, I'm not talking about the kind I cook my popcorn in. I'm talking about microwave radiation, similar in power level to the Wi-Fi signals bouncing all around us. You see, in comparison to x-rays, microwaves have a clear advantage. They're non-ionizing, which means they don't cause cancer. You may be saying to yourself, that sounds amazing, but why don't we see this in hospitals right now? And the answer to that question is twofold. It either takes hours to produce an image, or the image resolution is too poor to see anything. And that is where my work steps in. My name is Daniel Tajik, and I'm developing an algorithm known as microwave holography. Microwave holography is a mathematical strategy to reconstructing 2D and 3D images. It works by performing a mapping between two things. One, an estimate of how the electromagnetic waves travel inside human tissue, and two, a blurry microwave image. By mapping these two things together, I can extract a clear image. Now, there are other imaging strategies out there that perform some kind of mapping. But in order to estimate how those electromagnetic waves travel, they have to use expensive computer simulators, which take hours. I do something a little bit different. I image a blueberry. OK, yeah, that seems a bit ridiculous, right? But hear me out. Blueberries are easy to handle, and their electrical properties very closely mimic that of tissue. By measuring the electrical properties of a blueberry, I gain an understanding of exactly how those electromagnetic waves travel inside and around tissue. This makes my algorithm run in seconds and incredibly appears to improve image resolution. It seems that it's actually better to measure how those electromagnetic waves travel than to try and estimate how they travel using expensive computers. My goal is to bring microwave holography to clinical use in the next four years. So hopefully, the next time you go to get a scan done, instead of thinking, is this going to give me cancer? You're thinking, what smells like popcorn? Thank you.